Similar to the knocked up scene where Seth Rogen can't dance, but he has to try to prove that he can. Here's a few more that could help you in a situation like that. From the NFL to Hollywood to fatherhood, join me as I tackle my next journey in life, becoming Hollywood's next action star. All right, we're not gonna go on cut because my battery died. Big surprise. Uh, but we are up for our second set of face pulls. Uh, yeah. Ish. Mm. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Uh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Yeah. Oosh. Ah. 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 All right, uh, got the wrist wraps on because some smart buff guys on YouTube said you should start doing that. And when somebody's buff, but also smart, you should still do it, even though I was definitely resistant to it when I first heard it. Football players are always like, if you can't hold it, you shouldn't be doing it. Oh my goodness, okay. Woo. I didn't realize I was gonna be that fatigued right after a uh, pull-up set. If anything, I should have probably reversed that order. Live and learn. Dude, sometimes I just know they should throw me in a rap video, dude. You know what I'm saying? It happens. I'll take you and show you my post-workout shake as well. Can you see? Uh, too late now. Ah. If you can't dance, just point at somebody for a while. Just sway back and forth. This will buy you about two songs. Past that, people start to know you have a gun and you're gonna do something bad. Similar to the knocked up scene where Seth Rogen can't dance, but he has to try to prove that he can, just keeps going to the dice, you know? Here's a few more that could help you in a situation like that. Just a simple sidestep, okay? Just sway back and forth. Keep your hands here like you're, like you're jogging, you know, 90 degree angle. But you just kind of let them bounce with you as you bounce, okay? Now, if you want to get real tricky, but that's advanced level, so let's wait on that. Just keep doing this. Just do the Mickey Mouse. MC Hammer can't touch this. Point to the guy at the edge of the dance floor. Just keep nodding. Whenever she looks back at you, you know somebody new. What's up, dude? And she, she, she knows that you only stop dancing for that portion of time.
Feeling quite weak today. Hit a little DJ in there. You just do this with the arms. Make sure you have a face that, that matches the vibe though. Because if you're straight faced, don't. You want to have a face where it's like, I know I'm not trying to do much, but I could do a whole lot. But I'm just going to make this Spider-Man symbol. Just go like this. He's like, that's what a DJ would do up there. He's only got so much room to play around with. I'm just doing the same thing, baby. And then you can put your arms up here and there. It's just kind of like you're a weighted scale, you know? It's like kids playing a seesaw. Only a couple shimmies if you're a dude, but... That's a good one, if you need it. Uh, advanced lesson. Britney Spears, I think. Uh, 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 uh. Third and final set here. I'm gonna go a drop set uh, on each of them because <laughs> this has been a piss poor workout. But we're still moving, which is good. Not losing it. Another one is a girl could come up to you and be like, she's looking at you like your move, you know, and you're like, stage is yours. You just keep doing that stage is yours so you don't have to dance. Another good one is like, you're telling her, hey, if you pick the right hand, then I'll dance. She picks this one, you say, ah, oh, you got it wrong. Sorry, only one shot. But whatever one she picks is the, the wrong one, so you don't have to dance. But what if she hits both, you ask? Just a little forward and backward, okay? You can involve your head or not. But just commit fully. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, uh, uh, that's it. Go to body weight. I went to failure on that last one, so that wasn't a good idea to get more, but here we go. Yeah, that's... All right, let's go get this uh, post-workout shake, huh? All right, here we go, a little post-workout shake. Got my Vitamix here, set it on my food scale, uh, zero it out. <clears throat> I'm gonna take eight ounces of this Fairlife ultra-filtered 2% reduced fat chocolate milk, 13 grams of protein, only 140 calories. Uh, I use chocolate protein, but when I throw this chocolate milk in there too, it takes the chocolate sensations to another level in your mouth. So then, speaking of chocolate protein, here's my Bioactive Way by Isatori Chocolate Sensation. Um, throw a scoop of that in here. Again, I think this is 140 calories. Yes, and 25 grams of protein. I then take the Isatori BioGrow, three scoops of this. I take three scoops twice a day because uh, I'm above 200 pounds and that's the recommended dosing. So I just started this about a week ago consistently and I'll keep you posted on the results on that. Apparently, according to this, you can gain 6.3 pounds of mass in a set duration of time, whatever it is, six weeks. We'll see. We'll see. Um, then I'm going to get some really low calorie almond milk, 30 calories for eight ounces because I want to feel like I'm taking in a lot of volume. Keeps me fuller longer. Get to savor the taste a little longer. Boom. And I'll eat the other half of the banana my daughter was eating this morning. A couple ounces of banana. Get about a uh, tablespoon of peanut butter. Which is about yay much. 
How do you like them apples? Exactly 16 grams, exactly one tablespoon. I've got an eye for things, tell you what. And then the special treat, you may not trust me, but trust me, you know? Two big and fluffy marshmallows. Yes, with a Vitamix, it will blend all the way through and make every taste like childhood, okay? And then I'm gonna throw about 10 ice cubes up in that thing. Somebody tell that guy to shut up. <laughs> and then I poured into a big quart beer jug because I don't drink anymore and it makes me feel like I'm able to indulge in life a little bit. And maybe that's why my caffeine intake went way up, but we're not going to talk about that today. Cheers. Silly me, I forgot to add oats in there. I always add one cup of oats. Uh, I don't want to show you that and just trust me and know that I did. Trust the guy that put marshmallows in his shake that he also put the oats in there when you didn't watch. I did. I did.